I never thought I'd say this, but I'm taking some golf advice from Liam Harrison. Let's do it, and let's do it. Well, I felt like I got that high off the face. You should do this test at home, actually. Okay, again, again, let's be honest. Hi everyone, James Robinson here, guys. We're gonna get straight to the point today. Um, I never thought I'd be saying this, but I watched one of Liam's videos the other day from Golf Makes and really, really enjoyed it. I think it's something which if most amateurs would do, it would help them. Let me explain. You see guys, a lot of the time, amateur golfers will come up short. And the video that Liam did, basically played to the back of the green. Now I'm gonna do that in a roundabout way. So one thing which I never do, which I should do, is get a yardage. So we're going to do that every time in this video. And we have 135 yards playing 136 yards. For me, normally that would be a pitching wedge. Today I'm going to hit, in fact, no, it'd be a nine iron, wouldn't it? So today I'm going to hit an eight iron with the theory that if I don't quite catch it, then it'll still get there. But also that flag looks to be on the front. So hopefully my hand eye coordination with trying to do them hit ups won't be. A sign of things to come. So guys I'd like to thank Liam for the video idea. He's actually out here in Tenerife as well so chances are we might see him today. We've got Chris on the shot scope camera, how are we? Very good, Shell. Shot tracer camera shall I say, yeah good thank you. Um, yeah guys if you're new here by the way hit that subscribe button, leave us a like if you enjoy this video, comment below what do you think to the logic and the idea. I'm sure Liam's got it from somewhere because he can't come up with this. Right, 136, we're hitting eight iron, it's more than enough club. And my logic as well is I don't need to try and murder this one, I can just caress it in. A good shot should be back of the green. That flag high, is it? This is the point, and this is what got me when watching Liam's video. I didn't catch that. And if I wouldn't have caught a nine iron or a pitching wedge as I st stated at the start of this video, we'd be in the cavernous black lava filled bunkers. Mm. Right, we'll put the bag back on here and that's where you're going to stay because that's a little bit heavy. Right. Onward. So Chris, being a golf coach yourself and um, a former caddy, what would you say to this logic of trying to actually play to different parts of the green rather than just going straight for a flag? Yeah, so you got to, sometimes you look like when I was on tour, you'd look at where's the easiest place to hit the ball, where's the easiest putt. So if I can hit it onto the right hand side of the green, if it's an uphill putt, then I know I'm going to be able to have more chance of pulling it than a downhill slider. So very much, if you can hit it and you make sure that you're on the green or past the flag, you've got a chance. Yeah. And guys, if you did watch Liam's video from Golf Mates, then let me know in the comments and let me know what you thought of it. Have you tried it yourself? If you haven't seen it, I'll link it in the description below so you can see it. And interestingly enough, I've actually come short here. So I've, got, I've clubbed up and this is, I know what Liam saw in his video. It's actually worked really well. Let's see if we can make birdie off the back of that. Oh, we have. Wow. That's a two. Right, Liam, I think I might owe you a pint later on. First birdie of the day. Right, Chris, birdie on the first hole. Cracking start. And this is something you say to me a lot that I under club. Yep. And that's because I spend my life on like a launch monitor testing clubs, looking how far they go, how much they spin, what ball speed I get, what club head speed I get. And then it comes out on the golf course and it's almost not quite, it doesn't quite correlate as much because obviously there's factors, there's the wind, there's the gradient, there's ball striking from awkward lies and stuff. And that's yeah. something which I think all the guys at home, again, this is another video where I'm trying to make it as fun as we can, but I also want you to learn a few bits as well in that most, I say amateur golfers, we play to a playing standard, we're just low handicap golfers, aren't we, realistically. Yeah. So most amateur golfers make this mistake. And if you guys can watch this video and learn from it, go out and do this test yourself. Three holes, five holes, nine holes, 18 holes. 
aiming for the back of green, see how many times you actually hit the back of that green as opposed to how many times you hit the middle of the green or even stick it close. Right guys, next hole, we've missed out the long par five because it isn't really relevant for this video. This is, this is a drivable par four. We're not gonna go for it because obviously we are trying to work out just how we can attack holes better, I suppose is the terminology for that. Um, so we're gonna go two iron and play a little bit of a stinger up there. Hopefully leave ourselves around kind of 120, 130. And again, play for the back of this green. Uh, first thing to negotiate is the tee shot, which unfortunately Liam hasn't helped us with. Enjoyed that. Oh, it's perfect, Chris. Wonderful. And although this video isn't about tee shots, planning your hole from the tee back, going and having a look at those things there, or having a look on your course planner, even just using your Bushnell or your golf buddy or whatever GPS you use, will help you get in a better mindset, will help you get in a better mindset to play better golf. Course planning's massive, Chris, isn't it? Correct, it is. I thought you might add something to that. It is a crucial part <laughs> of the game. Is that something you'd work on with better players? Yeah, so you're going to plan your way. Sometimes think about how you'd plan your way back from the green. So you think, right, if I was hitting into the green, where would I want to be? And then you can put your tee shot there, hopefully. Hopefully, which Correct. we've done Correct. for a change. Right, even here, we're probably a little bit close for this kind of logic, but I'm still gonna get a yardage and I'm still gonna play actually, what have we got? We've got 71 yards, playing 72 yards. And all the trouble here is short, all the trouble's on the right, all short. It's a false front on this green. So I'm gonna play this around kind of 75, 80 yards. I can tell I must have a lot of green to work with at the back. Best case scenario, I've got 10, 15 foot birdie put. Worst case scenario, if I don't quite catch it, it might even end up closer. Go. Tell you what, it's another one. It's baffled me because that's good. We start a video, Birdie Birdie, because of a tip I've got from a golf mate's video from our mate Liam. I'm not sure if I can even publish it. I'll owe him two pints. Right, um, I'm not really doing this very well. And I'm either really proving the point that adding yardage on and working on that works, or I'm just proving that at the moment my ball striking is as bad as I feared. Because we're there and that's short again. But it's better than there, isn't it? Would have been with the 60. Yeah, I would. I, I went up, I went 56. You, you'd have used 50, wouldn't you? There's every chance. I mean, it comes down to putting, but it always does, doesn't it? At least you've got the chance of glory. To be honest, this is, at worst case, a stress free bogey, isn't it? Unless you have a rush of blood to the head with the putter. Negative self-talk. <laughs> par, I meant. Did I say bogey? I meant par. Oh, dear. Oh, he's That's two in two. Right in the middle. A diddle diddle. Won't fit. That's, um... Don't tell him. Don't tell him. Right, that is two under through two. And I just like Chris to just validate that's actually happened, hasn't it? It has. It's a rarity, but it has happened. Uh, can we birdie all three? No. No, probably not, no. Right, final hole of the test. And we have, oh, we do have a par five, actually. 485. I wouldn't include this because the video is more about attacking greens. But I'm going to now mix Liam's logic with Chris's logic. I'm going to try and think back. <laughs> I bet you never thought you'd hear that, did you? Yeah. I'm going to try and think back from the green to the tee. So first things first, I'd like, what is it? It's, like right it's 485 meters, so it's a long way anyway. It's good. Oh, it's, it's so it's a good, good drive, 270. Then a good three woods, 250. And it's just a yeah, good drive, then a two iron, isn't it? 
Well, how good is that? Big high draw. It is a rate good driver. A rate good driver. I'll keep that in, that's extra for them, Matt. And I'm going to go your little snippet of using one side of the tee box, Chris, as well. Oh, he's watched one of my videos. Same, same as you, just aim up that right side, let the wind bring it back. Let the wind and rain bring it back. Bringing it back nicely. A little bit left, but we know that. That's not Liam's fault, we'll let him off. So, I think, Chris, that's not in the fairway, but it doesn't change the logic too much, no. because we're going to lay up anyway, and then attack the back of the green. Attack it. Right, Chris, I'm not sure if we've got away with this or not. Oh, you've got to get me. Another lay up. That was a slinger, wasn't it? Right guys, my approach shot was actually quite good. It's down there, but it's kind of a lot shorter than what it should be. So for the sake of this video, we're going to drop one here. I can find a ball. And this is where, because it's quite difficult to see the flag, usually I wouldn't get a yardage, but today we're going to. So let's see if we can get... Perfect, so we've got 120 playing 118. It is quite breezy and usually I'd use a gap wedge, but for the sake of this, we're gonna go pitching wedge. We're gonna try and play a controlled flight towards the back of the green. Where's the trouble, short or long? Is there any trouble long? And that's not a great strike again, but I bet I bet that's on the green. And I'll always remember one of the first scratch golfers I ever played with, Dan, Platzi if you're watching, I know you watch some of them, always said to me, James, fairways and greens, fairways and greens. Also try not to take your eye out with your two iron. It didn't say that, but it would do because it's logical. Fairways and greens and you never be far away. And it's taken me 10 years to come full circle and try and do that again. So also, Liam, if you're watching, thank you for the video. As soon as I watched it, I rang you and said, I'm never short. Oh, I'm not short, I'm, yeah, back of the green. So I finally got one where I wanted it. Um, I rang you and said, Liam, I'm definitely going to use that in a video for me because I think it's going to help. I think my approach shot from down there is like near the green as well. So things are looking up, uh, but basically we've got a birdie put in the general consensus of this video for three birdies. So Liam, thank you. Whoever you got the video off, thank you, because I'm sure, like any YouTube video, it's probably an idea. Is that my other shot? That's, uh, Bloody hell. Right. So we'll have a go at this birdie putt then. Chris, I'll have a go with that eagle, see if we can finish on a, because that's the actual ball in play. Is it quick down here, do you think? Left to right? No. Once again, it comes down to the putter. Is that going to go? Turn. Turn. I'm taking that all day. Right. We'll see if we can can the eagle for the sake of it, because we very rarely get eagles on camera. And by rarely, I mean... Can you be 400 feet through? Yeah, it would be, wouldn't it? Get me back on tour with Liam's method. Oh, I need my chipper. But I'll tell you what, with the actual ball, I mean, we're clutching at straws now, but that's, uh, that's some good golf. Pa. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed that video. I hope that you are enjoying the videos so far uh, in lockdown. We're out here in Tenerife filming as much as we can, really, so that when we get back in lockdown ourselves, we've still got videos to bring you guys. Huge thanks to Liam for, again, the video and the idea. He didn't think that his video was that good, but I really enjoyed it, so I'll link it below for you to see. Chris, cheers. cheers. Shot tracer lasted one hole, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> 
But apart from that, guys, I'll uh, see you tomorrow. Thank you.